We are going to have parity on the floor. That was part of the energetic launch of Women for 50%. It's a group founded by 12 New Brunswick women who want to see gender equality in the New Brunswick legislature. Today, 8 of 49 MLAs are women. That's just 16% and lower than previous years. The goal is to have all parties field 50% female candidates for the 2018 provincial election. Co-chair Roxanne Fairweather says for her it started in 2014 when she attended the opening of the legislature under the Gallant government. And I had a visceral reaction to the number of women that were on the floor. So that we had elected eight, six were there that day, and to see six women in a sea of men um, hit me like a ton of bricks. One of those MLAs says women have a lot to offer in government. Raise the profile of women in terms of their leadership, their capabilities, and to help them as well to do the next step and to be put their name on the ballot, but not only that, to help them to win. There's a family connection to this group. Former New Brunswick Women's Liberal Association President Anne Marie Tingley gave seven female candidates $100 for shoes to go door to door in the 1987 election. They all won. I always said that I hope to live to see the day that my daughter would not be, have to be involved in politics through a women's group. And here we are again today. She's involved with a women's group, but this time they're going to succeed. There's more awareness than ever before, and we're putting a framework in place across the province to help women, educate them. We're calling on men to open their knowledge, their networks, and be part of the solution. The next big event for the group will be a conference February 13th at the Richard Curry Complex at UNB to push the movement further ahead. Andrew Cromwell, Global News, The New Brunswick government tirelessly touts education, health care, and the economy as their top priorities. Arguably, women's equality could be listed in the same breath. Since taking office, the Gallant government has committed to gender balance in boardrooms as well as the political sphere. Of the four female MLAs in government, three have been named ministers, including Kathy Rogers, the province's first female finance minister along with 266 women appointed to agencies, boards and commissions. Hopefully that's going to translate into folks in sectors other than government, observing that, learning from their example and hopefully changing their practices so that they're going to be doing better as far as women's leadership is concerned. The New Brunswick Women's Council Executive Director Beth Lyons says conversations are changing for the better, but equality won't happen overnight. Gender inequality is a beast of a problem. There are institutions that need to change, attitudes that need to change, and a lot of that has to be done over time, and some of it has to be intergenerational work. Um, at the same time, we can make huge gains by committing to good policies, by consulting with women, so it's a balance. Lyons applauds the government for this initiative, as more women in executive positions should encourage more of the same. But she isn't just advocating for increased numbers. So it's not just about being able to report back that you have X percentage of, of women, it's about how getting women in the room changes the conversation and strengthens decision making and make sure that decisions are being made by a group of people that actually reflects the population of our province. Jeremy Keefe, Global News, Fredericton.